We are the Nerd Eternal Network. Hello, and welcome to this next episode of Icons of the Wider World here on the Nerd Eternal Network. I'm your GM for the day, Jason, and joining me, joining me today, as usual, will be Curtis playing Toss Up, Taylor playing Unison, Zach playing Recluse, and Anna playing Launch. And joining us a little bit later, we might play Independence Ray. Now, as we left off last time, you guys are making yourself further, taking your, bleh, making your ways further into the palace of the Earth King, or the Imperious Rex, as they call him in this world. And you were in the middle of fighting some of his lieutenants. Uh... You were taking a nap, yes. One of the lieutenants was a mind controller, managed to take control of Toss Up long enough for him to hit Unison with a stun grenade. Uh, the main Unison unit. So any, any dupes he had running around would also have collapsed. However, and I forget whether it was Titan or Recluse that actually took the guy down, or maybe even Launch, I forget. But anyway, the mind controller had had been disabled by the end of last session, leaving three of them a sort of bat-like creature. I don't believe he had wings, but I think he had figured out he was using echolocation or something. Some kind of way he seemed to be aware of you as you were moving through the palace. Uh, a large uh, cyclops woman, for lack of a better way to put it, and a fellow spouting all kinds of spines that I think were poisonous. Yeah, there was something to him. I forget exactly. You know, I have to look at the stats. Anywho, what's that? Uh-oh. Well, I'm glad we caught it this early. Alright. Excuse us for a second while we do an audio check. Uh. Alright. Let me take a quick look and see if we can figure out what this is. Taylor, say something. Let me see if you pop up in OBS. Yep, I'm not getting my, none of my desktop audio is coming through. Why is that? Because while I was messing with the overlay and stuff earlier, I did not mess with any of the settings like that. Desktop audio is default. All right, Tyler, try something again. All right, this will be check two on the OBS system to see if I'm coming through. Check two, check two. All right, you're showing up on OBS now. Let me know if it comes through the Twitch. Whoop, I'm hearing it on the stream. All right. <clears throat> it was set on default, which usually works, but I don't know. I flipped over to my to, to picking up what comes to my headset. It's fine there. Now, am I echoing when I talk now? I don't hear an echo. Yeah, I'm not catching any echo. Okay. My audio output. Okay. That wasn't jumping up when I talked. That must have been somebody bumping a mic or something. Okay. Well, we're good to go then. Where was I? Oh, yes. We're in the middle of the fight, and we're getting back to it. We're at the top of the order with launch. Well, 
Um, we have no map. Yeah, right now. Oh, I'm sorry. Pull us back to the. Uh, I put you on the logo screen for when we started up. But my GM account was sit still sitting on the on the map. There we go. Man, it's like I go two weeks between sessions and completely forget how everything works. Despite also running a weekly game. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to kick this guy. Alright. Where did I put him? There's too many names to cycle. Big part. Of course. Jesus Christ. All right. And that is against his prowess. Luckily for you, the dice don't like me either. This bodes ill for all of us. It may be the day of whiffs. <laughs> all right. So you leap up in the air, you deliver a kick to this guy's face, and your strength is a six? Yes, sir. All right. This guy did not have any damage reduction. And apparently, y'all had not hit him yet. And like that, and just to remind you, I believe I had said where the map says holes. That's just wall. Y'all basically in this narrow hallway. So your foot connects his face, smashes him up against the wall, leaves a nice little crack in the stone, and he he kind of wobbles on his feet for a second. Yeah, good solid lick. You have, I say stun, not in the sense he's going to miss an action or anything. Just, just to get across how, uh, how strong a lick you just put on him. And then it's the Cyclops' turn. And she does not like what you just did to her little friend. Or maybe her little flunky the way it was the way it's been hiding behind her you know, hiding behind her legs and popping out to attack. So she's gonna take a swing at launch. With her prow ooh, her prowess is pretty good. You're gonna need to roll better than a one. And you do. See, this huge fist, you know, it's as broad as a coffee table comes crashing down in the ground as you just leap out of the way. And you realize you're not sure if you like being in this confined space while you're fighting something this big. Toss up. Well, I think that uh, a toss-up feels a bit guilty, and I also think that we might need Unison to finish up this fight. So I'm going to spend a turn um, trying to wake up Unit. Okay. Give me... Let's see. What would a first aid check be? There should be some kind of medical skill. Let me see if it exists. Oops. 
Oh, yes, medicine. Okay. All right. Did I hear you roll something? Uh, well, I just rolled a 1d6. I was just goofing around. Um, All right. So, medicine, which I think would be intelligence-based. So, if you don't have the specialty, go ahead and just roll uh, intelligence. Take an intelligence roll? Yes. Like I said, if you have the medicine mm -hmm. specialty, you know, add that to it. I do not. Let's see, what would I make the But he is right pretty now? sharp. Yeah, I was, I was thinking he was. Wait, we rolled the eights now? Did I crap? Well, I, was not, I, I was thought not, that was an awful high roll. Why was I not yeah. talking about this? The eights would help me Fine. out a lot. <laughs> yeah, that would, especially in this game. Alright, but an well, eight's still a good solid okay. roll. And let's see, what was the what was the rank of your stun grenade? The rank of the stun grenade is five. All right. And you're lucky the dice still don't like me. All right. Unison, you're going to be out for one more round. You know, basically, I'll skip you this turn, and then you'll go next turn. All as right. He, as, it's... As he has basically roused you, you're awake now. You're just groggy and having to get up and kind of sh shake off the last of it. All right. Then it's Independence Ray's turn. His player's not with us, so I'll roll for him. I don't remember precisely who Ray was concentrating on. So he's just going to take a shot at the... Probably the wolf guy. He's, a, he's just the closest. Uh... So you see him kind of float up into the air. Probably he was already floating there. And if Recluse is standing on the ground, he fires over your head. If you're hanging upside down from the ceiling, he fires under your head. I think I was still on the ceiling. All right. In that case, he fires under your head and down into uh, the wolf. Let's see. Eight on the roll. Versus this guy's. Let's see, where do you go? And he connects. Oh, and this guy only had two health left to him. And Ray does... He does seven. This guy is good and out. So he goes down. And we'll go ahead and take the figure off since the maps are crowded right there. Alright. Unison, you're climbing back to your feet and shaking stuff off. So go ahead and take the... Oh, you did take the token off of me? I okay. took the little sleepy alien off my face. Next up is Titan Red. And Titan will probably go after the biggest person on the board. So he'll move up into that space. That bat boy just cleared. And take a swing. Versus... 
prowess. Uh, you see he's tight and red, stride forward. And as he's walking up to her, he's, he's going back for a full haymaker. As his fist comes forward, you see one of those coffee table sized hands reach out and kind of slap his hand to the side. Winds up knocking a huge chunk of wall out over here. As, it, as all that force is directed into, into the stone around you. Dust flies. Recluse. Uh, I suppose Recluse is just going to try and pin down the big one with his webs. Okay. That will be a coordination to hit her. The combined up that. Okay, using both of your attacks. Got you. Yes, sir. Uh, coordination four. Ooh, she aces that. Damn. And as big as she is, it's not so much that she dodges out of the way as she manages to kind of catch all the webbing on her forearm and not let it get stuck to anything else. And it's old boy with the spines. Um, he doesn't really look like he wants to tangle with Launch after that last lick, but she's right there and still looking at him. So, so he rears back and kind of takes a swing, trying to impale her with the spines coming off his arms. And Mrs. Harbly. He looks fearsome, but you're starting to doubt that he's actually all that effective as a lieutenant. And then we are back to the top of the order. Launch. I'm going to try to punch the snot out of him. The spiky dude. Alright. And you probably do. <laughs> okay, that's uh... Yeah, just all kinds of things are going on there. All right. So it does six more to him. That lays him out. And you succeeded by enough that if he were conscious, he'd be rolling to avoid knockback and stuff like that, but he's not. So I'm just going to imagine him bouncing off the wall a little bit. Imagine it like a, The way I'm picturing it is like a... Almost like a trick shot in pool. Or I guess maybe even a normal shot. <laughs> Where, you know, the ball you're hitting is up against the side, and you pop it in the side. You know, you pop it from this side, but it goes shooting off at an angle. So he goes shooting down here, basically skimming along the wall. And kind of out over this way. And Cyclops is not happy. Everybody, let's see. Yeah, pretty much everybody. Uh, give yourselves another determination. 
as she is essentially power stunting to do a ground pound or a shockwave. So she kind of takes half a step back, brings both of those fists up, and strikes the ground. You know, buckling the ground right in front of her, sending a little bit of shrapnel and just kind of a, a wave of force out. You've seen Hulk do it and stuff. Uh, yeah, from that time we crossed over with Marvel, you know. Not the characters, the players. The players have probably seen that sort of thing. All right, that will be your based on her. <laughs> Big Mama's not happy. No, she's not. All her little friends have been knocked out. Baby, shouldn't have started a fight. <laughs> I say, as my unconscious ass barely wakes up in time. <laughs> He's like, you go, oh, what the? Ah! Why is the ground danger? <laughs> All right, so her roll. All right, you need to beat a six. With prowess? Um, you know, I had her roll prowess. Prowess or coordination, whichever you prefer. Yeah, I just realized they're both the same number for me. The coordination's a lot higher, so. If I have a choice. Let's see, you're back. You'd, you say you'd be back here by unison at this point, so yeah, that's that's far enough away. It might as well be a ranged attack for you. Alrighty then. So that is. Oh, I've got to roll for for Ray. And, all right, this is Ray. Well, Ray's in the air, though he still has the shrapnel circle about. So for Ray, prior to coordination is the same, so it doesn't matter. He beats him, and Titan's going to use his prowess. Uh, yeah. Okay. Everybody beats her. So that was a waste of a round. For her, at least. Toss up. Okay. Um. Well, I guess I am. Martial arts doesn't do damage, but it does hit, right? Uh, Just double checking. Yeah, I know martial arts hits you hit, yes. Okay. Yeah, I don't think it does anything for damage, particularly. Okay. Well, if I can reach her, I will leap at her and, you know, judo chop her or whatever. Oh, uh, yeah, you can get to her. Enough to use the J-U-D-O. Although, chances are my strength isn't enough to hurt her, but we'll see. Well, that is definitely a good lick, though. Alright. That'll be her prowess to avoid. Okay. Well, she got a good roll, but not enough to not enough to trump a thirteen out of you. I'm just double checking to make sure martial arts didn't do anything extra weird. It adds now. It adds to your offense. It also adds to your defense. Right. Right. Okay. For uh, prowess. All right. So you beat her by three. Which is a moderate. No, excuse me. Three is a major. Let's see. And what is your strength? Four. All right. You land a good solid lick on her, and it's like you punched the wall. Kind of thought so. Where some of the rest of them did decent damage, but did not have, seem to have much in the way of physical protection. 
Yeah, you know, like a like 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 a lot of you. Uh, yeah, she's clearly built like a tank. Let's see, Independence Ray. We'll take a shot. Uh, hmm, Light Blast or Dazzle? You can go for damage initially. Oh sure, for him I can roll something. That's versus her coordination, which is a little lower. Rolled a six for Ray and a one for her. Great. All right, so she takes that blast, but it does not seem to do any damage. However, he rolled well enough for a uh, knockback, and while her her resistance has lowered the attack to a zero damage, it did not lower it below zero damage. So she can still potentially be knocked back for him. She has to roll her strength versus the uh, full, full what the full damage was though. So he, this is him rolling what her difficulty will be, and then she will roll her strength. <clears throat> All right, she is not knocked back. <clears throat> Unison, you are back and in full control of your faculties. Neat. You have just seen, you saw a toss-up puncher to no effect, and then you saw a ray blaster to no effect. It sounds like there is suddenly five other people behind me that all look <laughs> sort of like me. Because while I can pop them all out at once, it still takes a turn to do. Alright, let me... So I have to do all the prep work. Unfortunately, I don't have access to all the prep work. Yeah, 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 alright. Air Skywatch. Hey, you remembered the name. Uh. Okay, now why is it not letting me edit it? And if I can't edit them, who in the world can? It's a very solid question. No, and you really want the edit button is suddenly not working at all. How very strange. Alright, let me add him to the turn. No, he still won't let me. Oh yeah, let me just drop out some more of the rest of them. All right, there's Overshield, there's Novice, there's Impulse, there's Night Shift. Is that everybody? Night Shift, Impulse, Novice, Overshield, Skywatch, and Unit. All right, that should be it. Huh. And it is literally not letting me edit any of them. Curious. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Edit's not even where I needed to go anyway. <laughs> Edit, I was complaining. All right, but that was your entire turn. Yep. Alright. 
Titan Red is up next. That should be all yeah. of them under your control now. All right, so Titan Red. He's going to just... He's going to haul back and try to smack her again. Because he has not made... You know, he's seen her shrug off the damage up to this point, but he has not made contact just himself. So he wants to see if he can damage her alone or if he needs to. Alright, there's his prowess versus her prowess. Yeah, of course. Oh wait, that time I was rolling bathroom. Good for me. That's that's a good thing. All right, so once again, he's, he's taking swings at her. She's either getting out of the way or kind of blocking. Yeah. She's not real, real quick, but she's clearly been trained to fight in addition to all the strength she's got. Recluse. Um, our favorite little bug boy is just going to cannonball indoor, I guess. Okay. Okay. And what is your strength? Eight. Alright. That seems to get through to her a little bit. Uh, let's see. Um, and give me a roll with your strength to see if you manage to knock her back. Let's see. What is her strength? Her strength is eight. Seems like it should be higher than that. Yeah. Alright, you knock her back into one of these little pillars back here. The whole room seems to shake when she hits it. And I'm going to burn my other attack trying to pin her to the wall with my webs. Okay. That's coordination, which she is not as good at. Alright, you beat her by four. So is that a complete hold? Goes forward, make it a massive success. I think it's just a partial success. Let's see. Beat her by one or two. You're right, it's a major. It was not up to a massive. It's got to be five. Beat her by five be a massive. So you're right, it is a partial hole. So she can take actions, but she cannot move from that spot. And I think her actions are at a minus two. I believe that's how the partial works. No, a moderate achieves partial. A major or massive puts you in a complete hold. Assuming that it, oh, assuming, yeah. it, ass, awesome. assuming that it works like wrestling. Let me double check the... Let's see, binding was the power, I think. Yes, sir. Yeah, same as wrestling. So yeah, a major or a massive puts her in a complete hold. Okay, that is Mike trying to join us. Hang on just one second.
Hello. Hello, hello. Hola. Thanks for thanks for uh, waiting for me or not. Thanks for not waiting for me. I should say. <laughs> Uh, I'm not getting an image through you on Zoom, or Ooh, of so you through Zoom. Let me set another camera. Yeah, I'm not sure why oh, why isn't this working? Um oh, there we go. There you go. Oh man. Oh good. Whatever you did it worked. Oh yeah, there it is. Fantastic. All right. All right. Just to catch you up, if you remember from last time, y'all were in the middle of a fight with some of the uh, Imperius Rex's lieutenants. You had taken out a mind controlling one who had managed to take yeah, over right. uh, Toss Up. And while Toss Up managed to shrug off his influence eventually, he had used a stun grenade on Unison by then. Mm -hmm. So they have dropped the sort of bat creature lieutenant and the spiny one. Toss-up has managed to revive Unison who has just managed to stand up and pop all of his dupes. And then Titan Red just managed to knock the large Cyclopean woman clearly the rougher of them. He managed to knock her back or or was it Recluse that knocked her back? Finally knocked, no, Recluse finally knocked her back. They were both brawling with him. Knocked her back into the pillar Back, you know, back behind where y'all were fighting, and then has webbed her to the pillar. So she is com in a complete hold, basically. So not really out of the fight. She just can't do anything until she manages to break loose from the webbing. Uh, Ray has blasted her. His blast had uh, no real effect, showing that she's got a fairly high damage reduction. Uh, you know, she shifted her weight and kind of had to brace herself. So you got the you know, he got the impression he could he could potentially have knocked her back with the blast, even though it didn't actually hurt her. Which game mechanics wise means he's doing the same amount of damage as her defense. Uh, right. But you can still get knocked. You know, you can still get knocked backs and stuff like that, it, even if the attack does zero damage, as long as it does not do less than zero. Mm hmm Okay. Um Let's see, the uh, just gone. Which gets us back to the top of the order with launch. I guess I'm gonna hop over there and kick her in the face. Alright. With a 10, she rolls her prowess. You manage the kicker? How much damage do you do? Six, right? Mm -hmm. Six. All right. Uh, much like I described it when Toss Up hit her, it feels like you just kicked a wall. You know, her skin gives in just a little bit, but not very much. You realize y'all are going to have to pile on the damage to get through that. Because even where uh, Recluse popped her really good, it didn't seem to actually hurt her a whole lot. Some. You kind of heard a oof when she, when she took the hit. But she really just moved more than anything. Uh, let's see. She 
she's in a full hole, so she gets to whip in the net. Okay. Then it's her turn. Uh, Recluse, what is the strength of your webbing? A uh, six. All right, so give me a d6 plus a six. And she will roll her strength. And she is loose. Dun dun dun. But that's all she can do this round. So, well, you didn't hold her up for long. You did that. You you did make her waste around. That is a round in which she is not punching one of you. Toss up. Ah, uh, there is not a darn thing I can do to physically scratch her. I am going to have to pull out my <clears throat> gadget stuff. And I don't think building another grenade is the right idea because we're all in close combat right around trying to punch her. I'm going to see if I can come up with some sort of a hypo spray or something that I can knock her out with. Okay. So using my spare parts. Let's see. So what power would you be trying to use? Mechanically oh, gadget, speaking. Gadgeteering. I know, but you use your gadget. Oh, 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 gotcha, 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 yeah, gotcha, gotcha. The effect. Um, I... Sleep. Is there a sleep? Yeah, I think there's a sleep. No. Let me check. Let's see. So that's what the only thing I can... I think there is. Affliction might do it. Yeah. Or. I may just have to stun. Yeah, let me look up stun. You would probably want to use stunning. And then you'd have to choose whether you want to target her strength or her willpower. I want to target her strength. I want her... If I'm... No, 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 no. Okay. When, yeah. when you make it, the device will be a coordination versus coordination to actually hit her. And then you'd be okay. choosing which of those stats you resisted with. Oh, okay. Willpower then, because she's obviously strong. Yeah. Anyway, okay. you can describe it as, you know, a hypno ray to put her to sleep, knock out gas you run up and spray her with, you know, right. however you want to describe it. Yeah, I, I was thinking some sort of knockout gas. Okay. I probably have some canisters of gas to assemble new grenades. Well, anyway. That's the fun thing with a gadget. You just assume that you have a yeah. utility belt for whatever you need. You seem we've got all kinds of... I, I don't have my uh, anti-cyclops -cy spray handy, but... It's back in the toss-up copter. <laughs> yeah. So I will start assembling that. All right. And that's one of the powers it takes a round to do, I think. so. Yes, it does. All right. So that is your turn. You start taking little vials of chemicals and pouring them into a grenade or a spray bottle or whatever. Maybe we'll get lucky and the rest of the team will take her out before then. But It's always possible. All right. It is Independence Ray's turn. How about now? Is it, is it Much better. You're coming in and out a little bit, but it's, oh. it's a little bit better now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> we have this will I am thing going on. <laughs> I don't do anything, yeah. Uh, would it be possible for Ray to fly in between um, Anne's character and the ogre monster and try to um, uh, let loose a, a dazzle burst right, right into the ogre's eye and then uh, fly out of range? Absolutely. So, uh, the uh, ogre chick is, I forget if I described her as 10 or 15 feet tall. 
But yeah, she's quite okay. large. Anna's, Anna, Anna's character standing on the ground comes up to like her waist. Oh, I got you. All right. Well, I'll try to. Uh, I'll uh, also give a uh, heads up so that. Uh, what's the yeah. name of Anna's character? Which, which character is Anna running again? Blanche. Cool. Well, I'll try not to. Hopefully, uh, Launch won't get up blinded in the in the uh, in the wake of. I think the dazzle. Mary. The dazzle is targeted, isn't it? I don't think you've got like an. Area. Oh, you're right. Because I, I don't have area. I don't have area effect on it. So you know, it's less that you fly up and, and do like a disco ball, and more like you fly up and hit him in the face with a magla. Gotcha. All right, so let's roll for that and see what happens. Okay, I've generated an eight total. All right, I believe that's coordination. Since you're basically blasting her. Ooh, okay. Looks like she blinks at just the right time. As you fly up and you, you fly up glowing, she's seen you blast forward. Yeah, as soon as you get up kind of in her face, she immediately snaps that eye closed. <laughs> that's true. That's only one. It's only got one item blink. All right, well, I'll... Um... Think of the next tactic for the next round. Unison, finally you get to go. Hey. All right, so we get nice and lined up here. So, let's see here. It will take... One, two, three, four. All right. So I'm going to be taking. It's let me double. It's been so long since I played Unison. I need to check his stats to see what. <laughs> Oof. Oof. All right. So. So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to have to. Yeah, I'll just be doing combined blasts. Okay. So the first combined blast is going to be two people shooting. If they both hit, the attack gets plus uh, plus two to it. And then if two more add in after that, it's... <laughs> Another plus two, which is why I'm keeping it as two of them attack, then another two attack combined, then another two attack combined. Okay, gotcha. So it'll be three attacks, but six roll. Okay. So first attack... Bam, bam. All right. This versus her coordination. So hit, hit. Mm -hmm. That's seven damage. Each, each blast is seven damage? Well, each blast will be, yes. But that is those two rolls are for one attack. Oh, oh, I got you. I got you. I got you. Because you're combining they both damage, have to not combining hit. Tilt, hit. Got you. Right. Since I'm combining for damage, they both have to hit. They both hit. Mm -hmm. So it is a total of seven damage for that shot. Okay. Uh, let's see. Sure. The last one had the potential of knocking her back. So roll me a d6 plus seven for the... Well, never mind. She's stuck in that spot, so she can't really be knocked back. Uh... She's clearly not happy with those with, with getting hit like that, but it doesn't seem to really do any damage. You know, much Noted. like Ray's blast did, you know. You know, you see the ripples in her mind. skin where where the, the strike happened, but The four in the back will now combine all four of their shots. Then. Which will result in a plus four. Would you, get you if they all nine, would you get you up to a nine damage if they all hit? Yeah. So. Let's go, boy. <laughs> a nine, a nine, a nine, and an eight. 
<laughs> All right. What? Do I make it on a tie or does she make it on the tie? I forget which. Uh, usually on the tie in combat, it goes to the defender. All right then. Because you basically come out to a zero, which is a marginal success on like skill checks. So two of them hit, and so it's essentially the same effect. You get the plus, you get a plus two, so it comes out to seven damage. Then, yep, Eunice will now go recluse launch. I am now reverting to the plan we used to combat steel. I am now going to be your support. All right, then it's Titan Red's go, and he'll run up and take a swing. After fully realizing I can't do jack to this person, it is time to put conditions on them. Which is something I was going to remind everybody about. The whole using your stuff to add a... Uh, which, granted, trying to use the Dazzle power, working on the grenade, is kind of doing that. You know, It's finding ways around the damage reduction. Yeah, uh, I need to give her some bad luck. Oh, yeah, I forgot Toss-Up had that. All right. Oh, yeah, but Titan Red is taking a swing... Alright, that's a good solid hit versus her prowess. So six. Alright, so beat her by four. Again, can't really knock her back without a Earl. Well, I take that back. He's strong enough he can break that pillar, so yeah. But she clearly takes some damage from his lick. Uh, let's see, his strength roll is a 15, she's got to resist with her strength. Well, that's not too bad. But her and that entire pillar kind of go flying back a few feet. So she's kind of like back here. Uh, the pillar's broken. Lots of dust. You hear the roof creak some. But, you know, there's a line of pillars here, so you don't think the temples or the palace is in any danger of falling, at least right away. Let's hope not. You know, she is now kind of laying on her back, still webbed to a big chunk of the of the stone. She still has her, uh, she's still in a complete hold, and she can't really move anywhere until she gets, oh no, I'm sorry, I forgot, she, she, had, bro she, she had broken that webbing the first round. <sighs> should have I was about to say. I should have slept more this morning. That's going to be the problem with subduing her. She's so strong, finding something to hold her is not... I ain't got to subdue her if she's dead. Well, there's that. This uh, is war, champ. Casualties but, happen. But we are heroes. We're not supposed to kill. Now, now, she's not an octogenarian. This is a war. Killing's gonna happen. Ah, you just the brightly colored pragmatist. <laughs> this is the gray one speaking. I'm not. <laughs> I'm That's true. The baseline one is gray. All right. So anyway, she lands on her back on on a chunk of that pillar. Recluse, you're up. Recluse just gonna run in there and just start laying onto her. Okay. <coughs> and uh, this is gonna be combined effort for damage. Okay. Bug foo. Alright, she will resist with her prowess. No. 
and no. Uh, technically, that second one could potentially get a knock knockback, but since I'm imagining you basically landing on her upper chest into her face, uh, you know, we won't bother to roll with the knockback. And how much damage do you do? Eight points. Eight points, but you were doing com you were doing combined effort for extra damage. Uh, yes, sir. So that'd be ten points. Okay. That's enough to actually do a little bit to her then. She's starting to look like she's t she's starting to look like she's on the bad end of a fight at this point. You know, she's not out. She's got some fight left in her, but she is she she looks like she's been in a brawl. Lunch. I'm going to hop up to where her face is and punch her square in the eye. Okay. Ouch. Now, do you want to do this attempting to actually do physical damage to her? Or, you tr or would you like to do this to try to give her the condition blinded, you know, for a few rounds? Or, oh, yeah, for, probably, probably for a few rounds, depending on how you roll. Um, I'm going to go with blinded. Okay. Uh, it's the same roll for you. You know, still your prowess. Versus her prowess. Damn it. She manages to yank her head to the side, so, you know, you kind of punch her in the upper cheek. And then it's her go. And she does not like all these people climbing on her. Like creepy little bugs. One of them in particular. So she... And this, and she's not even the big bad. She's a lieutenant. Well, the one thing she's really got going for her is that durability. You know, her strength is not actually all that impressive. I mean, it's superhuman level, but it's just how it's just how much how much regular old physical damage she can take. Um, uh, she is basically going. To roll over as quick as she can and try to crush the two people standing on her. Because both, <laughs> both Launch and Recluse describe themselves as landing on her, so. This is basically an area attack against both of them. So I'm going to roll once. Both of you will resist that roll. So both of you need to be denied. Launch jumps off of her, no problem. Recluse, not so much. That's unfortunate. Where's your super dodging ability at? Oh, I clicked the wrong button. I don't want yes, to hear that. All right, you jump off no problem too. Man, I was gonna have so much fun describing recluse squished under a giant woman. <laughs> I'll just imagine his little legs sticking out, squirming around underneath her flaps. <laughs> y'all have weird stuff y'all need to get talked about somewhere not public. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, they like it, talking about it in public, which is another weird little thing they need to do with. We're sharing. Get to know your players, or co-players. <laughs> All right. And how much they like to think about being crushed by large women. 
Look mm-hmm. online, it's probably a thing. I mean, it yes, is. it is there's a thing. A, That's a why I'm telling it. you all. Don't know that. Don't, don't I, sit I, here. I, I we are moving on. We are walking. We're walking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, all right, all right. We're walking down to toss up. You have finished coming up with your device. Yeah, I, I, it's, it's basically going to be a spray where I have to jump into her face and. Well, she's rolled <laughs> over now, so you could run up next to her head and, and try to yeah. spray her. Yeah, that's that's the idea. All right, so that's going to be prowess, right? Uh, or would it be ranged? I think it's the same either way because it's martial arts with prowess or or, or using coordination in it. Okay. It's, yeah. it's, it's the same either way. If it's matter. the same role, use whichever one you want then. And she will resist getting hit with her. What I should have made is... All right, so you you definitely hit her with the stuff, and you said she was going to resist this with her willpower. Yes. All right, and it's le- so, it's level five. All right, so give me a d6 roll plus five for her, her difficulty, and she will roll her not overly impressive willpower, but not bad. Uh, Dang. Oh, and she's going to have bad luck on that roll, by the way. Okay, and what does bad luck do? Uh, she's going to get a minus one on a roll. Okay. So she rolled a one on the dice. So effectively she's rolled a zero on the dice. So instead of that five, she has a four. So. So you beat her roll by seven, which is, you know, off the chart. Which with the stun power, I believe knocks her clean out. For a little bit. Let's see, stunning. For the chapter. Can take no actions for the remainder of the chapter. So yeah, she is done. She is knocked out. She struggles against it for a little while. You see her that one big eye blinking kind of slow and sleepy. <laughs> and then she collapses on down. Good night, princess. She's a snorer. <laughs> oh thank crap that's over <sighs> uh, you say that it's not like she actually managed to do much to you though she was going to pick up that chunk of pillar and start trying to squish you with it this next round smash bug smash bug it's just naturally what you do with a bug All right, so there's a sudden silence. Uh, you know, as the fight's over, all the crashing and bashing stops. And then off a little distance off, you hear some whispering. And you look over and you see what you're guessing is some of the palace staff that are all kind of peeking around from the door. Uh, when you look at them, they all kind of scurry off. You know, it's, it's clearly not soldiers or guards or anything. You know, you're assuming it was the domestics and the and whatnot. My Why they would have come to check the fight out? They're running away. It's up in the air. My thought is, we don't need to be too concerned about them. I don't know what you guys think. I think it's good. That's bleh. six of six of me immediately flabbergast themselves. Sorry, still half conscious. <laughs> I think it's about time we commit some regicide. <clears throat> You're so kill happy. The man it's just war. In, the man just invaded your entire world. But yes, let us continue on to try and find this Rex person. Talk with him. Calmly. 
with fists. That's have what we, I said. Have we given up on our on our uh, microphone, Mac? Oh no! I was just trying to be. In, uh, I was just trying to get my uh, just throw in my comments and not be as obtrusive as possible. Oh, okay. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. All right, so the round turn can go away. All right. So the fight seems to be over, at least in this area. Where do you want to go from here? Anyone have a clue which direction to go to find Rex? I feel like whenever we came in here, we had a general idea of where he was supposed to be. You know, I think you're right. I think Unison had scouted the place out with one of his uh, astral projections. Yeah, I think I think we went to this place because... The dude was going to be in one of two different locations, and this was the first one we were checking. But I'm not 100% sure anymore, because it has been months. Yeah, yeah, that's a... While the, cross, while the big crossover event ideal was neat, I have not executed it well. <clears throat> As, you know, time-wise, it, it, yeah. It's just stretched out funny. It makes it hard to remember. I'll try something different the next time we do any kind of crossing over of the, of the multiple teams. But yes, I believe you had checked his bedroom essentially first, which is where the spear guys ran into the reliquary. But he made no, you know, he made no aggressive move. He seemed to be robbing the guy, so y'all really didn't care. You know, he admitted to some responsibility for what happened, but. You know, talked about it like, you know, this was, you know, it was an accident. I was just trying to, you know, help these people find a new home and get home myself. And, you know, they decided to invade my home. So, y'all didn't fight him and he ran off to do mischief elsewhere and it went poorly for him. But all Spear knows is he's some dude that was stealing stuff and wanted to go home. Right. He was not the And priority. we had bigger fish to fry. But that was the first place you checked looking for the Imperius Rex. I think now you were headed, trying to head towards the throne room. I think that's right. Uh, which you're getting closer to as you get into the kind of the heart of the temple. Because the throne room is centrally located and up on one of the higher levels. Because if I remember right, this, temp this palace is more or less kind of ziggurat style. With lots of outcroppings, you know, so it's not strictly pyramidal. It's a lot of a lot of added on bits, but the overall design it kind of stair steps up. <clears throat> All right, so y'all continue on. Uh, you're not making a whole lot of noise, so at one point you round a corner, and there is a very startled. Uh, Woman holding basically linens. Or so she's pushing a cart that she's put a bunch of lemon, linens on. That she sees you and she just freezes. You know, deer in the Recluse. headlights. Clearly wants to run, doesn't know which way to run, kind of thing. Recluse puts on his cutest face, waves to her. Hi, do you understand me? Y y y yes. Great. Um, so, do you know where your king is at the moment? No, 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 no. I've I've been fetching the the the, the linens to clean. We're, uh, ambas we're ambassadors, and we've come to discuss peace with him. Roll me a willpower. <laughs> Since that is the social stat, as you try to lie to this poor woman, that's <sighs> technically the truth. Hmm. 
you, you'll find that... I'm pretty sure you know, when the true. Marines rolled into Saddam Hussein's palace, they were not ambassadors of any sort. Saddam Hussein was not controlling an entire army that was invading a place. If he had an army that was on U.S. soil and we marched in, there would be a demand for surrender. All right, let's see here. Bystander, there we go. Oh, bystander's have better willpower than I thought. Yeah. She may just be a maid, but she's a maid at a palace. And even when you even when you've got a king, it's still politicians are still politicians. She's learned to smell BS. <laughs> uh well if you just go around the corner and you know, down the hall and you know, three doors down you know. She starts giving you instructions to carry you uh unison, you know this is carrying you further from the throne room. And really not any rooms that you can remember looking like they were of any significance. Mm. You know, and after she finishes, she goes, well, I, I, I hope your peace talks go well. And she grabs her cart and, you know, kind of slides around. You hear it roll down the hallway behind yeah. you, you know. You, Unison will shout at her as she leaves. Have a good day. I'll pretend you didn't lie to us. <laughs> at that point, you stop hearing you start you stop hearing the cart run away, and you just hear the patter of her feet as she takes off. <clears throat> she's a good kid. Good. Well, yeah, she was lovely, and malformed, but you know, good or evil aside, she was loyal. <laughs> I'll just you know look confused. It's like, isn't demanding surrender the same as you know peace talks? Only in the most no. technical sense. It is in my book. A peace talk is a mutual disengagement. A surrender is somebody's one. Anyway, moving on to the throne room. Moving Let's on. go win. All right. Just one momento. I don't know if I forgot to load the throne room or if the throne room was an accidental casualty of me clearing out unused maps the other day as I have filled up my storage space on Roll20. Rut row. Well, you know. Truthfully, I should probably stop being a cheapskate and actually subscribe, which would which would give me more uh, more room. That's not what I need to do. Basically, I'm just going to expand this this section of the map until it's large enough to be a good stand-in for a throne room. Oh, okay, I thought you were just doing a magic trick where you pulled the rug out from under us, but we didn't move. <laughs> well, I guess there's that, too. All right, back to the object. It's a neat trick. The Pope did it once. Do I even want to know what you're referencing? The current Pope used to be a magician. He literally did the tablecloth with dishes thing. Oh, I did not know that. I didn't either. Well, I say used to be a magician. He, he did the tablecloth thing. I'm assuming he used to be a magician just because he, he did it. It may have just properly. been a hobby thing he did. He may have done it to yeah. amuse children or something. But it's a skill set that you, that you know he has. Yeah, that, yes. It, it's good to know that the, the Pope has party tricks. Well, you know, you hate to be the only one without one if Jesus shows up and is turning water to wine or something. <laughs> you want to be able to do something. All right, line yourselves up at the doorway here in whatever 
kind of marching order you want. Uh, now, as you approach, it's these huge wooden doors. Uh, very... Actually, they're not eloquently carved, now I think about it. You have seen very little decoration here that isn't obviously ancient. But they're big, Good. thick it's wooden doors. It's truthfully, other than the world tree itself, about the most wood you have seen used in this place. Which, given the kind of blasted wasteland they're living in, you figure wood may be rare. So, having big doors like this made out of wood may be, you know, a sign of, of wealth. Titan basically just walks up and just palms each each door, and you hear the whatever kind of latchings or whatever they use to keep them shut. You know, you hear that just snap and the doors swing open inward. Have any of you ever been to the Parthenon in? I think it's Nashville. Nashville, Chattanooga. That I think's at Nashville. I think. No. Okay. Physically, no. It's the only place I've been to that I can think of having doors like like I'm envisioning. You have, if you haven't been there, it's neat. It's a replica of uh, I think it's kind of a, re a replica of the Parthenon. But in the big center area, you got this huge statue of Athena, I believe. I think it's Athena with like Nike in her hand or something. Went there on a school trip back, like my senior year. It's been a long, been a while. I just remember it being really neat. But it had these big, you know, big, huge, thick doors that we probably weren't supposed to be playing with. But when no one was looking, we were seeing how easy they were to move. All right. So as you walk in, give me awareness checks. You see the individual that you you clearly think is is the uh, Imperious Rex, but let's see what else you pick up on. Picked up on a thirteen. Okay. Oh man. Six times, six different thirteens in six different directions. Let's go, boys. I am hero oblivious. You. Don't worry, champ. That's why I'm here. Well, you're not here, Oblivious. You are just focused on the man in the throne. Because you know that is who you have come to see. some spiffy decorations up. So you walk in, there is a line of guards uh, between you and the throne. I thought the guards would be busy. Well, apparently the throne room has its own set of guards or something. <laughs> Alright, so let's see. What do we have here? Tarki had a 13. Or I should say Unison has a 13. Tossup has a 4. Independence Ray has a 9. Is our Recluse and Launch rolling awareness? Uh, Sorry about that. No, no problem. Okay. <clears throat> so 
So Unison is kind of the big winner here. sitting on his throne. Uh, as you walk in, Unison, you spot the, uh, uh, the king, or the, yeah, the Imperius Rex there is Speaking to someone, but you can't see who it is he's speaking to. As you walk okay. in, all the guards kind of lower their spears. Uh, you see some of them kind of look, kind of looking at their, to your eyes, chapped uh, lips. Uh, clearly, they've heard what you've been doing, getting this far. None of them look. Super excited about what's about to happen. However, before any violence breaks out, the the emperor, the king, the the imperious Rex calls out to you. Your journey here so far has been impressive. I was not expecting your world to offer the sort of resistance that you do. You did pick the wrong world to invade. Hmm. That's yet to be seen. Your world is lush, virtually untainted. Which may sound strange, to, you know, and that may sound strange to the characters, but you look around where he's living, and yeah, Earth's pretty nice. Your people don't appreciate what you have. I mean, you could have just. I'm sorry about that. You could have just what? I mean, you could have just said, hey, could we come for a visit, maybe move, immigrate, or, you know, go get some clean water. We have, I don't know, you probably have something we'd want. Perhaps. In your own world's yeah. history, did, did people seeking new lands always do so peacefully? Not always, uh, no. Uh, then the heroes really kind of sit there It's the first. Not, it's a half and half split. World. Yeah, sometimes they did. Yeah. I don't know Very often, happening. when things went negative, they tried a neutral approach first. Hmm. Interesting world you live in there. Hmm. Nonetheless, they were they they came prepared for a fight. But they didn't start it till they had to. Nonetheless. Uh, you can see the sort of world we live in. Desperate times, different measures. And no one said we had to take, you had to take your entire world. We just took a, a broad approach. Once we take a continent, yeah, we'll probably let you keep the rest of them. Uh huh. Anyway, we're kind of kicking your ass, and listen, we are the small gods. If you don't retreat, every pull back member your of man, Unison now, now stares at Recluse. Every member of Unison is staring at Recluse. <laughs> All the guys Please in the faceless me. helmets go. The f did you just call me? <laughs> Please stop staring at me like that. I'm the genius. You are not literally nuclear bombs. Anyway, if you don't pull your armies back, and if we don't show up back at, uh, you know, 
our homes, they're going to send weapons that'll just obliterate your planet. There will be no survivors. He's right. You think you have nothing now. No, Unison looks back up. It'll probably f our planet up as much as this one is right now. Because our people are sometimes really dumb. He smiles and laughs. I don't think we should tell him that. Well, no, it's not the smart thing to do, but sometimes your people are dumb. So, you know. <laughs> they're, they're dumb enough to take the action that will ruin their entire planet to the point where it becomes the same as this one. When posed with a threat that will take it over, that's what they'll do. It's our world or it's nobody's. Come now. I have done some research on your world. While it, while it is a paradise compared to ours, you are in the slow process of destroying it. I and my people would appreciate it. We would protect the environment. We've seen what happens when you don't. Really, it'd be better for your world overall. Yeah, like a year ago, we had like this exact same conversation with another despot, and we kind of kicked his ass up up in between his shoulder blades. So, yeah. He kind of pauses for a second. Your language is so colorful, or the translation spell isn't covering it quite right, or something. But, but I think I will keep your libraries intact so I can learn more about you once you're gone. And see, now you just went from, we'll take a continent, to, I'm going to murder all of you. You see why we don't like you at this moment. Oh, yes, I did slip slip up, didn't I? I mean, just a little! <laughs> Initially, we thought you were all weak, and... And, yeah, we respect strength here. On the other hand, you have displayed that some of your people are quite strong, and would be quite useful. In fact, I could probably offer all of you some very nice positions. Again, this exact same conversation. This this is the exact <laughs> with the, this is the exact conversation we had with the last one. Did oh, I get hit in the no. head head of the last fight? Am, am, I, am I, I just is my brain just on repeat right now? No, no, we're not still fighting Steel. We did kick his ass into his shoulder blade. Okay, awesome, awesome. I apologize if I'm boring you. And he's looking angry. The disrespectful tone you've been using is starting to get on his nerves. Where you, initially when you walked in, he's kind of sitting there going, oh, these guys are kind of ballsy. I kind of like them. Well, now you're just getting, we now really, you're just getting disrespectful. We really thought we'd give you a chance. You can step down from your throne and call off your invasion of Earth. Or, yeah, we'll have to kick your ass. Unison, Unison will butt in. Whoa, whoa. He doesn't have to stop being king of this place. He just has to stop trying to be king of another place. I ain't coming in here and trying to change the entire political landscape of this land. What? You're I American. Want my Unison, Unison's American. Regime we, change is like we, his hobby. We, we kind of talked about this last issue. <laughs> yeah, regime change is like totally 2003, guys. Get with the times. Now it's just forever war. Just Yay. like the sixties. You know, Rome hit this hit that phase too. It's a phase, it'll pass. <coughs> Alright. Anyway, he goes, Oh, I apologize if I'm boring you. And then he raises his hand to you, and the ground all around all of you starts reaching up and grabbing you. You know, the stone itself tries to work itself up around your leg. So everybody give me a prowess. That's a solid prowess for me. 
Or maybe it should have been coordination. Oh, well, go with, go, with, go with whatever you just rolled. We're like, we're dodging, right? Yes, yes. Basically. Yeah. Oops. But my app, the stats shut down on me. All right. Give me just a minute for the stats to load back up. Launch, you leap out of the way without any, you know, as soon as the ground starts shifting, you are in the air. Uh, toss up. Basically, as soon as you see him start raising his hand, you're rolling to the side because you know something's coming. You don't know what's coming, you know something's coming. Uh, recluse, what happened? It appears I hit the wrong button. <laughs> that should be reading a knot. Oh, did you roll your prowess instead of your danger sense? Yes, sir. Okay. Well, we'll go with the roll that it rolled. So a nine still means it, it managed to catch you. Yeah, that's bad. Your danger sense goes off, but for a second there, it's, you don't know what's about to happen, so you're not really sure which way to jump. You're really looking for like a blast or something, so when the when the stone underneath you grabs you, it catches you by surprise. Same thing with Independence Ray. And, and that's a ten for Tarky. All right, so what we've got here is um, actually, Taylor, uh, give me a give me a roll for each of your duplicates, so we know exactly which duplicates are caught and which ones are not. All right, we're gonna assume the first roll was Unit himself. Yep. All right, and the only one that isn't a f the only one that hit an eleven is night shift. All right. So you're trying to beat an eleven. All right. So two of you, and I'm just going to grab random ones at a time. Wind up in a full hold. Uh, let's see. You said one of them hit an 11? Yes. One hit an 11. All right. We'll let the red wind be completely unaffected. And then all the rest of them are in partial holds. All right, then. I'll allow Impulse to be the one that made it. Well, it doesn't really make any difference. It does to me, in my heart of hearts. Uh, let's see. Launch made it. Toss-up made it. Recluse is in a full hold. So now you know what it feels like. I have not rolled for Titan. He's in a partial. Let's see, toss-up's clear. 
What did Ray roll again? Man, there's a lot of you in the dupes right now. Okay, he is also in a full hold. Okay, that should be... Okay, that should be everybody. So, if you've got a web or a net on you, but you just got one of them, you're in a partial hold. If you got both of them, you're in a full hold. And, you know, if you're clear, then you manage to avoid it completely. As he does this, you hear the Imperious Rex basically tell his guards, leave us. And they hastily make an exit out of a side door. You spoke very boldly to me. Boldness I can appreciate. I can respect courage. The disrespect I'll not stand for. In fact, I don't feel I'll have to stand to deal with you at all. And he hasn't gotten out of his chair yet. Go ahead and give me coordination rolls. Uh, basically, we're basically initiative. Though you are, of course, still free to speak to him. If you have anything you wish to say. Like, this is your last chance, Rex. I'm trying to decide if he'd be offended by calling him that or not. I mean, he's shortening his usual title, but it's still basically you calling him king, so, eh. All right. Let me roll for Rex's initiative. Alright, Rex got an 8. Uh, Titan. Also got an 8. Freaky. Toss up, what did you get? Uh, I think I got a 9. Okay. Unison. Yo, what up? What would you get for your initiative? Oh, I got a 9. Independence Ray. If you try to say something right there, it broke up. Oh, sorry. Uh, I got an 11 for initiative. 11, all right. Launch. Hey, y'all keep rolling in clusters. Or here's a we keep rolling in clusters. Recluse. I got a little, I got a, what I, what oh. I get? 12, thank you. Numbers are hard. So the top of the order is Recluse. I'm going to put my full strength in trying to bust out. Okay. Uh, let's see. That will be based on the strength of the material.
All right, so you make an escape. There's a moderate success. Pushing, searching, dodging, exhaustion. Ah, escaping. Here we go. All right, that escapes a partial hold or changes a complete hold to a partial hold. And I believe you had a... You were in a full hold, so you are now in a partial hold. Yes, sir. Launch, you were... Not affected by this, so you can do whatever you please. going to try to free someone okay. zoom way out and I can't really see I guess it'll be one of unison oh let's see if you just if, if you just want to go with people you're next to though of course you can move to anybody I mean, can unison just kind of undo do unmake himself then remake himself. He could. That would take a full round. Cost him a turn, though. Yeah, it would cost him a turn. But yes, he could certainly do that. Yeah, he could do that. Um. So how many people can I untrap? Uh, I'm afraid only one at a time. As you are basically, you know, attacking the material, holding them, or trying to pull it loose, or you know, what have you. You know, you you've seen Recluse getting Recluse get himself about half free. Uh, the Unison members are in various degrees of. I'm gonna entanglement. release or try to release unit. <laughs> okay. Give me a Give me strength it. roll. Versus the material strength. Nine. Yes, you managed to bust him loose. Unit, you are no longer entangled. Yay. You flinch for a second as Launch kind of rears back and starts kicking at that thing, just imagining your leg snapping. But, you know. She aims properly, so it's only the stone that breaks. I've got damage yeah, reduction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can take one. I can take one lick. I'd rather it not be from a teammate, but you know. All right, Independence Ray. All right, is it anyone able to hear me right now? Yes, yes. you're coming through pretty good. Oh, fantastic! Right? Awesome. For some reason, uh, like okay, Discord actually is working with my speaker system right now. Now, as long as I don't press any more buttons, I know that'll last. <laughs> uh, anyway, so yeah, so I am full. Do I? Ha can I still generate last, like life lasts, even when I'm uh, in my entangled state, or do I need to basically just focus on breaking out? Uh, in when you are fully, and when you're in a full hold, essentially, mm -hmm. the only action you can take is to escape. Now, if you wanted to use your blasting power as what you, as how you were trying to escape, mm -hmm. I would allow it in this instance because you know you're basically just kind of trying to blow the the stuff off of you. Yeah, that's basically what I was hoping for. Would that still be a coordination um, roll? I would let you roll with if you preferred. I'd let you roll with just your just your ranks and the power. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, well, that's sure. Uh, that's a that'll be a seven then. Yes. Right. Uh, so let me just uh, do this. All right. Your difficulty oh. is a seven in this case. Okay. Um, one. Okay. Let me see if I can. What's the command again? It's uh, slash roll one d six plus seven. Yep. There it is. Oh, I just barely made it. I'm not rolling low. 
but still, uh, I did, I did beat it. That is a success. Not enough to get out of a full hold, but you have reduced it to a partial hold. So, okay. uh, and with a partial hold, you can't move from that spot, but you can take actions at a minus two. Ah, So next round, cool. you, could, you could try to finish moving out, or you could take pot shots at him. You would cool. just have a, you'd have a slight penalty as you're not, you know, fully mobile. Sure. Unison. All right, so. Only two of me free. Unit will walk past. And yeah, all all the duplicates except impulse will poof out and poof back on him. Alright, so you are going to spend the round. Yep. Actually, you can remove those from your tokens. I'll let you be doing that. All right. And unit will will speak to him. No. Imperious Rex, we can we can stand here and play parlor tricks with each other all day. Or we can get to business. My business is war. Toss up. Okay. Um, I am going to attack Imperious Rex. Uh, my idea, I'm going to bet, even if I hit him, I bet I'm not going to damage him. He's probably got damage resistance or whatever, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. assuming I can reach him. But maybe I can at least keep him busy so the heavy hitters can bust free and kick his butt. So, can I reach him? Uh, let's see. Or am I, am I too far away? I just have to start a charge. If you could take a, if you spend your entire round moving, you can, you can cover that distance. Okay. But I won't yeah. get an attack yet. But you won't get an attack. Okay. Or you well, I'm going to go halfway ahead. there and make a ranged attack if you had something to throw at him, shoot at him, whatever. Yeah, I'm. I'm just going to make that charge, so okay. I'll be there. All right. I'll be the. I'll be the bug in his face. So you go running won't forward. Be able to slap. As you go up part of the stairs, you get about here. And you run into something solid. Ouch. Oh. Eh, let me pick a better color than that. That does not stand out particularly well for some reason. Marvel at my drawing skills. There appears to be some sort of energy field. Between. I like how you really went with style points in the bottom right corner. Well, you know, it was looking so boring and wavy. <laughs> But it's purple. How rad. Well, I think I used green for the mystics in, another, in the other game or the previous session. So, But anyway, he appears to have wall. He's, he appears to be walled off to some degree. Let's see. Titan Red will attempt to break himself loose. And 
and does so quite easily. But that is his round. And then it is the Imperious Rex's turn. Toss-ups up in his face. Unit's been talking smack, though. Toss-up, you had basically said... You, you were basically trying to be a distraction. The way, you, the way you talk, it sounded like you were trying to be a distraction. Yes. So give me a willpower roll to see if you can, you know, garner his attention, pull his attention away from everybody else. Hey, Rexy, you afraid of a fist fight? All right. He just looks at you. I fear nothing. And then he looks back over and he says, but I will not tolerate disrespect. And he is going to attack unit. Uh, where That's weird. That? I called her Imperious Rex and everything. I don't understand <laughs> what the problem is. I didn't realize grabbing people by the feet wasn't a parlor trick. Strange, the customs of this alien world. <laughs> Obviously, he's more afraid of you. Well, there's more of him. All right. Give me a willpower roll unit. Uh, does it have any mental... Aspect. Oh, uh, yes. Your, your mental resistance can factor in. Alright, then it's going to be this plus one. Because I don't have a custom roll set, so a 12 total. Alright, he rolled a 13. Uh, oh, let me check something with mental resistance. I am trying to remember... Let's see. And your mental resistance is the power or the specialty? Specialty. Okay. All right. Yes, that is how the mental resistance. I think the mental resistance power is kind of like damage reduction, where this is... More like middle dodging. All right, but he manages to hit you. And you wind up taking six points of damage. All right. To your brain. Uh, unlike a middle blast you might take from one of your people, you don't... <sighs> It's weird. In some ways, you don't feel a mind behind it exactly. Uh, don't know if I'm describing that well or not. You don't get the impression that this this does not feel like when you've been confronted with psychics that can do mental blasts. Even though the uh, even though the nature of the attack is similar. Basically, you figure this was a spell that attacked your mind as opposed to a natural mental power like you'd be familiar, more familiar with. 
Hmm. So I've got them magic brain aches instead of them brain brain aches. Yeah, in practical terms, it probably doesn't make a difference. It's just a difference in feeling that you get. Recluse. I'm going to try and break out again. All right. That is versus his five. Damn! I mean, it's max roll to a min roll. Yep. Nothing you do when it's max when it min maxes. Yep. Which is, I think, it, which is, I think, the term I will use when this happens from now on. So yeah, you're still struggling. You know, you chip little bits of the stone off, but yeah, you're still struggling and not getting enough of it off to to do much. Launch. Give me an awareness roll. Oh boy. Yeah, I know. Get that seven. That's not a seven. Womp womp. It's that not is a not one a seven. No either. That is indeed not a seven. Okay. Don't worry about that. Doesn't mean nothing. Your character's unaware of it. What do you want to do this round? I guess I'll break recluse loose. Alright, give me a strength roll. I have to. Alright. Let's see, he's got a partial on him, so that does indeed break him the rest of the way loose. Hey! Thanks, buddy! High five! She high-fives him. Yeah! Okay. Does she high-five him with the same enthusiasm you had in your voice when you said she high-fives him? Yep. <laughs> you have learned over the past year and a half or so of working with him that it's far better to just humor him in these things and move on. Independence Ray. Alright, so I would like to... Um... Even though I'm still partially held, I want to see if it's possible for me to um, get a light blast in, in Rex's eyes, uh, and also see if it will penetrate that. I'm also curious to see if it will penetrate that force okay. field. Are you trying the light blast or the dazzle? Oh, uh, you know what? No one's actually at him yet, are they? Well, yeah, no, I'll do the dazzle because I want you know because I he's he's clearly able to affect us uh, through the shield, so I want to really try to hamper him in any way possible. So we'll see if the dazzle works. All right, that's still coordination versus his coordination. Okay, and should I add the min um, should I uh, give myself a minus two here, or yeah, yes, let me just yes. uh, okay, there we go. Oh man, that's not good. Yeah, maybe I should focus on getting myself clear. Uh, the light, the the light from the dazzle does seem to pass through the shield. Mm hmm. And he does the, you know, he does do a quick this all of a sudden. So you think it would have worked, but you know, he, you know, shut his eyes, turned his head. Gotcha. Unison. It's time to do a lot of things. What lot of things are you going to do? First unit will stand there and go, you just hit me in the brain with magic? I am a sorcerer king. I got to admit, when you said you were proud of strength, I really didn't realize you meant the technical ability necessary for magic, but all right, fair game. Strength comes in many forms. Night Shift then slaps Unit on the back. Unit gains 6 health. Let me fix your brain there. Yeah. Really, let me fix my brain. But you know. let, me, let me get him out of us real quick. 
Impulse. I'll shine that thing up, it'll be fine. We'll take a look at the gemstones in the corners. Do they have magic on them? You know, are they clearly glowing? Are they magic runes, or are they just decor decorative? They, appear to, just be de they just appear to be decorative. All right, then. Novice will run headlong into the force field, headbutt it, and blast it. Okay. Roll me a... Yeah, go ahead and give me a coordination roll. I'm sitting here debating because, you know, it's a big shield, but yeah. All right, his blast has no effect. You notice the the, the shield is kind of wavering, and yeah, it, it seems like the angle that the blast ends up hitting at it it kind of just deflects rather than really striking it straight on. All right then. Continuing the testing, I am now going to have my my three boys just fire off. Another shot, real quick. This one will be a single, and then if it doesn't have any effect, I'll do a double. Okay. Okay, that hits. How much damage do you do with with the T T blast? Five. Five. Uh, you see the field kind of pulsate, but it's still up. Then the two are going to work together. If they both land the hit, he gets a plus two. Okay. They both hit. Seven total. Okay. It pulsates a little brighter, and when it calms back down, it doesn't seem to, doesn't seem to be quite as bright as it was before. So while the blast did not seem to punch through the shield, it's wearing it out. Right. Or at least putting Given pressure on it. Given the nature of your own power, truthfully, you would probably come to the conclusion that it's, it's got some kind of ablative type, you know, that you could wear it down over time, yeah. even with low level kind of stuff. Henceforth, machine gun round will be beginning soon. Toss up. Do I see? I'm kind of looking. Magic is not toss ups thing, but he is kind of looking around to see if um, the force field appears to be generated by anything inside or outside. Uh, give me an awareness roll, and we will see what you can see. You don't notice anything that just stands out to you as, hey, this is clearly generating this effect. You don't know magic, though, so you're not really sure what you're looking for. And I, I saw um, that it looks like they're wearing down the shield. I'm going to take a gamble and see if me punching... The force field will help wear it down as long as I can still take an action after looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that would not take a full full round. <laughs> that did not sound like a happy dog. No. <laughs> All right. You land a couple of good hey, solid licks on it. Uh, my strength is only four. I don't yeah. know if that'll... Uh, when you hit it, you know, there's resistance, but there's it's there's a little bit of give. It's, it's you know, it's like you're, hit, you're punching something firm, but it's not like it's stone. Uh, 
It's a little hard to tell. You think it's a little dimmer afterwards? Even even with just your punch, when you make contact, it, there is a slight flare-up, and you think when it flare, you know, when the flare-up is over, you think it's slightly dimmer than it was before. So, it's looking like any kind of damage is, is slowly dropping the field. And while we'll you were... through... What now? I would say, when we bust through this one, we're going to find a second force field behind it. Of course, you layer your defenses. <laughs> uh, you know, magic is, not, like you said, magic is not toss-up's thing. But you know, with tech, sometimes if you've got like a, if you you run into masterminds using force shield generators and stuff, that yeah, the generator, you know, it essentially had so much power pumped into the field, and you know, <coughs> beating it down would run through its power supply. You don't know if okay. magic was the same way, but it it might be something he'd set up so he didn't have to concentrate on the shield in combat. Right, because if all of his powers are magic based, he's obviously got more than one thing going on. At the same time, so there may be something else running it for him. You know, you don't know for sure, but that is a reasonable, reasonable guess. All right, Titan Red charges up to the field and wallops it, or attempts to wallop it. You see his knuckles just kind of skin off the side. Is like I said, the whole thing's always kind of doing a, a wave, almost like a wind hitting a curtain kind of thing. So he does not get a solid lick on it. And then next up is the Imperious Rex. Not too good. All right. Oh, that's a lot of sixes. There's a freakish number of sixes now. I think about it. But all of them are different. Well, two of them were the same, I guess. But it's not all the same combination of dice and plus. Uh, he reaches over, does a quick couple of you know hand gestures towards Titan Red. And you see a, uh, you see, you see red kind of sidestep as an opening underneath, as the ground underneath him seems to open up and then snap back shut. Hmm, if he's going to have any hopes, he's going to have to start sticking to his area attack stuff so he can try to wallop everybody. Uh, Recluse. Is that back to the top of the Yeah, that's back to the top of the round. How did I wind up with my main villain going last? Huh. Because he's a pathetic nobody that has to rely on the powers external. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. Reekless is just going to swing on over and wail somebody else. But da 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 So, taking multiple attacks? Uh, yes, sir. Combined effort for damage. <clears throat> okay. Hi, I'm the person that can punch mountains in half. I'll use both my attacks to make it hurt worse. <laughs> Did anybody just hear a weird beeping? No. 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 Oh, I think I forgot to charge my uh headset up. Uh oh. Who oh, no. knew? Just a second, if I can find uh, a cord. You use a wireless headset at a desktop. Strange times. Eh, it's just the one I bought. I didn't know what I was doing when I bought it. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, nope, that was a monitor cord. I don't want to pull that. No, Michael, that's only if 
If the headset was an Apple headset, I'd believe that's an. Michael typed a message to you. Oh. Alright, now how have I lost the charging cord to this thing? It always sits on my desk. <laughs> Your cleaning service must have come through and taken it. Ah, it was sitting under my drawing tablet. All right. Yeah, my only problem is that the cord is super short. Be right back. <laughs> Too late. The countdown's over. Plug it into my laptop, so maybe that'll last a little better. Sorry about that. Ah, such things happen. Must have now back to killing this guy you yeah, yeah, yeah. enjoy I having. Must have forgot to plug it in after the last uh, Tuesday game. Alright. We were at the top of the order. Recluse was doing... Punches. Ah, yes. And I had to roll. Had I rolled what you had I rolled your difficulty yet? No, sir. Okay. Let me roll that then. Okay. You broke the barrier, and the barrier's cousin showed up, and you broke it too. Uh. Your first lick, it flares up. It DMs. Your second leak, your fist actually goes through the barrier. The barrier does not drop as a whole. But you were, you know, but like I said, your fist goes all the way through and you pull back out and the little gap you made is visible and then slowly seals back up. But the entire field is much dimmer. So it just needs one more good hit. Basically. Probably. One or two. I mean, you can't stay for absolute certain. Recluse just looks at Imperius Rex, smiling all bright. That's hardly my only defense. Stuff nightmares are made of. <laughs> eh, 
in the world he's in, remember, Recluse isn't that bad. You know, the mandibles are a mandibles. bit much, but you know. But he's all Exactly. All, he's all symmetrical though. That's that's very that's very, that's very rare, rare in this world. Recluse is an easy six in this universe. He'll take that. Basically. Yeah, a few too many eyes, but you know, whatever. Now, the Imperious Rex, you notice, is still not perfectly symmetrical, but he's a lot closer than some of them. You don't, you know, you wouldn't think much of him, but in this world, he's probably a hottie. He's probably magicked himself up a little bit. Whatever. Not that impressive when you can cheat using the powers of the universe. Launch, you're up. I'm going to launch myself at the force field. Roll it. Roll it. All right. So you go, you managed, you, you managed to smash through the field, so you are physically on the other side of it. Uh, the launch-sized hole in the shield is slowly starting to fill back in, it's but it's taking a lot longer a lot than longer the recluse's punch did. Oh, and give me an awareness oh, yeah. roll. Oh, boy. In fact, from where he's standing, Recluse, you can also give a uh, awareness roll. Will my one point of occult speciality give me a bonus to this? It will not. That's fair. <laughs> All right, Lodge does not notice it. Uh, Recluse, you notice from somewhere over in... kind of this general area. When she busted the field, you gotta hear a uh, from over there. Uh, speaking of my comms, and uh, nod my head over to over here. Hey, uh, Unison, take a couple shots over there when you get a chance. Will do. Independence Ray. All right, now that. Uh... We see a breach on the field. I really need to get myself mobile, so I'm going to try to just uh, focus on blasting my way uh, out of this uh, out of this uh, ground hold here. So one d six plus seven. If we're still going by that ruling, and let me have it. And you are free. Phew. Unison, you're up. Night shift rolls off to distance. He'll take a shot at the corner. All right. Point to the exact square you're firing at. Okay. Roll it. And jaboosh. All right, how much damage? I know I asked it a few minutes ago. Five. All right, that is enough to get through the shield as it is now. And you do how much damage? Never mind, Five. I just asked that. <laughs> I was thinking on the field, then I was thinking about something else, and then now it's, I got to reduce by the field, by what the field had left. Okay. It's okay. Uh...
you hear a a cry of pain and a young girl becomes visible kind of shimmers into existence uh she is still conscious but whatever she was doing you broke her concentration essentially uh she is clearly a native to this world. She's got the whole, you know, badly mutated thing going on. But like I said, she is still obviously a child. When her invisibility falters, you see uh, once again, let me whip out my impressive drawing skills. A second, smaller barrier. <laughs> well, she had that, sort of, because right here at the at that corner, the field kind of loops around her. Yeah. And you thought my loop was accidental. I said it was style points. It ain't an accident. What? You mean the decorative gems that I looked at that were clearly decorative or something? Something was I making, knew it. Something was making you unable to see the energy. Yeah, yeah. Them. I'm not saying that, oh, I should have been able to see it. I'm saying like, ah, oh, yay. They were they weird were. things. My Legend of Zelda radar was going mad this whole time. Yeah. Well, you know. If you had made, maybe if you had made your awareness checks. I have a one, so I wouldn't have passed it anyways. This is this is probably true. It was mathematically so possible, though. If you had rolled a six the first time, you would have made it. Mm -hmm. Or you could have thrown in a determination point for distracted by the internet, because there's no internet here. Those Therefore, you were distracted. not distracted. But I still probably would have failed because I suck at rolling. Who knows? You would have failed Life because is... you sit there convinced you would have failed. True. <laughs> anyway, so that was your first. That's the. That's one member of Unison. What are the rest of them doing? Impulse. We'll now look to his left and shoot the gym. All right. Alright, it is a... And it's just, it's a big stationary object, so it's just the D6. It has no coordination to add to anything. So yeah, you beat that roll by... Uh, a lot. Yeah, 11. And how much damage did you do? Five, and it pushes it. It potentially pushes it. Potentially. Yeah, it probably pushes it. Yeah, I pushed it. <laughs> so you push it off its pedestal. And it sort of turns sideways and slides down behind the column it was sitting on. And one of those little beams disappears. You don't know what the and significance everyone, of the beams are. But. Everyone can see them, right? Everybody can see them now, yes. The little girl was apparently generating the effect that blinded you all. And unit will immediately declare, I'm going to keep hitting them, hoping that they're a power source and not something containing him. Oops, you've accidentally unleashed the great evil. <laughs> Entirely possible. That would never happen in the game I ran. It's a place I don't understand fully. It can happen. Overshield will take a crack at the other one. Okay. Solid hit. Five points. 
So you get five points for that one. It is still in one piece. You know, it rattles and it's where it's sitting. It kind of rocks. And you think maybe you saw a couple of little flakes of it come off, but... Skywatch will also go over there, take a shot at it. Okay. Hey, beat it by a lot and might push it. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It does push, oh, okay. but it pushes in several fragments as it shatters. And sends a spray of uh, basically crystal shrapnel up against that wall. Neat. And uh, quick awareness. Does Imperium Re Imperius Rex look worried about this? He kind of gives a sharp look at them. At the at the looks kind of pissed off at the at the girl. It matters not. I do not need this crutch. Thinks he's well, so I'm gonna clever. keep shooting then. All right. And how many more of you I are there? Three shots left. Okay. Bottom right corner. Night shift will take a shot. Okay. It takes five damage and has the possibility of being pushed. Uh, roll me a d6 plus your... plus five for the, the damage you do. Alright, you knock it off the pedestal. Like the other one, it's not destroyed, but you've slid it out of, out of place, and that seems to be all it takes. And Novice will take a few steps back so he doesn't hit the Force Shield and shoot the gem. Okay. Put you. Yeah, that's good. Yes, it's a good solid hit. It takes five damage. And once again, make the roll for the damage. And you slide it out of the way. As the last of the gems is pushed out of place, the, the shield goes down completely. Not that it had a whole lot of oomph left to it anyway. And now Rick just stands there before you. Cool. Unit will take his final shot. Do a quick pop at Imperious Rex. See what happens. Headshot. No, no. Center mass. I just. This is a testing shot, not a cocky shot. He could be super dexterous. You just don't know. All right. Number 12 is going to be awfully hard for him to avoid. Especially when he rolls ones. Oh, yes, another instance of the min max. All right, so you beat him by six. You do five points of damage. <laughs> minus whatever uh, damage, damage reduction, reduction you may or may not have. have. And I went ahead and rolled for the, uh, the push. The push. The push. Alright. And that is his strength, which is not his strong suit. Ironically. So of course that's the one that's the one he rolls max on though. 
All right, that sends him flying out of his chair. You know, the chair tips over. And he lands in an undignified heap behind the little raised area that the, the throne is on. And you hear Unit shout back, Uh, I'm Imperious Rex. I love strength. Whoops, can't take a strong wind. <laughs> Guess you're getting out of your chair now. <laughs> nice shift also shouts. We're rude now. <laughs> Let's see. Titan Red leaps over the chair at him. Yes, they're very ungracious winners. <laughs> very inappropriate for a hero. Ray has clearly got to teach them better. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm pulling out snappy one-liners like a champ. Uh, yeah, as Titan we'll comes play. down with a punch, Imperius manages to roll out of the way and come to his feet. And then it's his turn. Stormageddon, hmm. what is your problem? If that's the cat's name, his problem is you're paying attention to something else rather than him. Yeah. Or her, whichever. She's like, I have decided you shall pay attention to me. As cats do. <clears throat> yeah, we were playing a game last night. We started up a campaign at a buddy's house of a monster of the week. Where we weren't using any dice or miniatures. So, you know, when the cat decides that nobody's been paying attention, usually it'll jump up on the map. It jumped <laughs> up on the table and actually looked confused that there was nothing in the middle of the table for it to, for it to mess with. <laughs> and then it goes to look at the one guy's computer, which is usually where he keeps his sheets for, like, Pathfinder and stuff. But, you know, he wasn't even sitting there because we were using paper sheets. So poor cat was all confused. Couldn't get anybody's attention. Like, there's nothing for me to tear up and knock around. You know, unlike the Rottweiler, that if he wants your attention, he just runs up and plops his head in your lap. And you're kind of forced to pay attention to him. All right. Hmm. Imperius needs to go big. Everybody in the room... Give yourself a determination point as he is power stunting to make his mental blast area effect. It is now time for us to start spending every point we have beating him. Indeed. We are getting a lot of points now. Alright, and it was willpower. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, so he will make his he may he will make his attack roll using his willpower. You will... I think he is going to sneeze in the middle of his attack to give him a disadvantage. All right. What are you doing? How are you doing this? Bad luck. Bad luck. So what does that do? Give him a minus two or something? Or... Uh, I have not looked. I think it does. It gives him a minus two on the roll or minus one on damage. Give him a minus two on the roll. Let me see. And that is luck. Is luck one of the powers out of great power? It is great power. It's the same as causing trouble. I'm basically giving him a disadvantage. Okay, okay. Do you have to make a roll for that? I do not. Are you, um, okay. All right, so he's at a minus two, so let me lower that by a couple. All right, so the number to beat is an 11, and I need a willpower roll out of everybody. That one to affect launch, would it? Actually, this one does. Huh. 
Damn. Uh, this is unfortunate. It is unfortunate. Oh, my apologies. I forgot to roll. Uh, do you want six separate rolls? Uh, no, because you're all the same mind. All right then. So, willpower plus mental resistance, and I'm gonna go ahead and slap a plus two on it. Okay. For a paranoia agent. That's gonna be a ten total. Let's see. Choose if your mental blast is a blasting or shooting attack. Want to see what it did if he rolled really, really high? Uh, all right, let's go down the list. So he rolled an eleven. The sneeze made his mental blast stronger. Yeah, yeah. All right. So six. He got a massive success on Ray. He got a massive success on Recluse. He got a massive success on toss up. He got a success. He got a moderate success on uh, launch. And he got a massive success on Tarky. Wow, what a dramatic moment for a for a party wipe. Okay. And then they all died. Launch. You take well, all of you take uh, six points of damage. Yikes. Yeah, ouch. Alright, the little girl flat passes out. And his mental blast is particularly dangerous, so let's see where are the All right, so his mental blast counts as a shooting attack. Thus when he rolls a major or massive success. He has the potential for the kill outcome. No. Or the killing outcome. It's not necessarily that you die immediately or nothing. This is if you remember when you were fighting the magic users, this is what happened to Everlast. You know, she took some damage from the spear from the spear, failed the killing attack, so she passed out and became unstable. Uh so, what you need to do, and this is for everybody but Launch, I think. He will roll his, the damage, the full damage of his attack. And his mental blast is a level 6. Plus a d6. Okay, you lucked up, he rolled minimum there. So, everybody has got to beat a 7. And this is except for the launch, right? Big pardon? Yeah, except for launch. Yeah. Launch does not have to worry about this. She just took the damage. That's all I, she's dealing with. I only lost by one point. What? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me see here. Plus one for mental resistance and plus two for using a determination point made it a ten total. For me. I just didn't custom make the roll. Where is your roll at? Did I scroll past it already? It's the one plus six. Seven. Okay, so mental resistance made it an eight. Okay, okay. In, the determination in that case, you ten. also don't have to worry about this. You just took the damage. I was just looking at the number on the actual roller. But for everybody else, uh, seven is the number to beat, and you need to roll... Let me see. Stamina. 
full level of damage against the target's strength. So all of you need to make strength rolls to see if you can, you know, hang on. Seems like willpower would be more the way to go with that, but yeah. Um, I'm going to use my determination on this one, if that's all right. They give me a plus two, is that right? Yes, uh, which, uh, um, what are you tapping I'll, to use that? Well, I'll either use I'll get lucky, or I guess I can use luck. I've still got, um, I think, two luck, two good luck points I can use. Okay, either one's fine, then. Unfortunately, I did not think to spend determination point before making that roll, so I am <laughs> conked out. This keeps happening to me in, this, in these big deaths. What, what is it with you, Mike? <laughs> you get down to these crutch moments, and it's thump. I can't, I'm not determined enough, clearly. All right, so toss up is fine. I mean, took six points to his brain, but other than that, yeah, he's he's hurting, but he's still up. Uh, he's hurting. He's not going to be up for long if he gets hit again. Ray hits the ground. And let's see. Basically, the way the killing thing works, if you don't recall from last time, is you will you effectively lose a strength each round. When the strength hits zero, you die. Every round, you can choose to spend a determination point to not lose a strength that round. Uh, anybody that goes and makes the first aid check can, can stabilize you kind of thing. Uh, let's put a... And we'll put the bigger skull marker on here. No, skull and crossbones is easier to, easier to tell what it is. All right. I think everybody else was fine. Yeah. Every member of Unison but Unit poofs. Oh. But let's not do that because I'm just going to put him back on the stage. So, you know, it's up to you on how much you want to take them off, put them back on. You know, I had not thought about the the effect a mental blast would have on the dupes, but but yeah, just uh, I mean, just go ahead and move them, move them, just move yeah. them around your guy like when, where where you wanted to be when they reappear, it'd be fine. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Drop them down there if you choose not to bring them back works too. Okay. Uh, I forgot to roll Titans willpower, so that was a seven to avoid the attack. So he missed by four, so he's got to make the same strength base something that y'all did. That he aces. So he took the six points of damage. Oh, wow, that's him halfway gone in one lick. All right. Uh... The Imperious Rex is clearly pissed. Uh, this is going to lead to some bad, bad jokes, I'm sure. But imagine the scene in the first Avengers movie when Loki stands up and starts going off on the Hulk. You know, prior to the Hulk grabbing him, when he, just, you know, he's just up and he is pissed. He is ranting about the fact that he rules this world like a god and he is going to rule yours the same. He has had all the disrespect that he will have from you. You will die here this day and your names will not be remembered you know, by future generations. You know. you know, you'll die here and your memory will die here as well. Spittle is flying from his lips as he's talking though. The only Titan Red is really close enough for that to be an issue. Recluse, you're up. 
Recluse sees that little girl go down after he's uh, recovered I, from the little headache he got. I forgot. I've got to roll her strength thing, too. Oh, Jesus. It's, it's... And then he just looks at Imperious Rex, murder in his eyes, screams, leaps on him, and is just going to go to town. Yeah. Please go to that little girl, and you've got, you know, you see, you know, she's got a nosebleed. You know, nose is a little, no, not gushing, but a little bit of blood leaking out of her nose. Think Stranger Things, you know. Please and tell me why you're what? Please tell me why you're wailing on him. You're going, say my name, say my name. I don't know your name. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's going to be a com combined effort for damage, and I'm also going to tap "Blessed by the Crawling Gods" and "Justice for the Forgotten" for an extra plus four damage. I don't know. Can you tap two? I don't the know. Same. I thought you could. Uh, I might be I think you can. Because it, it, yeah. Yeah, now, you may be although, able. yeah, I think you can, you can, you can uh, tap each uh, each um, quality once on an action. Okay. But I think I think each tap would only increase damage by plus one. It'll increase your roll by plus two, but it'll increase damage by plus one. Ah. All right, so yeah, just a uh, plus two to damage from the two tapped attributes. I so if I hit, that'll be doing 12 damage. All right. The trick. I thought the termination. Let's see. It's activated quality. You can only activate a quality once per page. Okay, but it does not say anything about not being able to activate the multiples. Determined effort. Because I was thinking it gave you a plus two to the, uh, to the action or to the effect. Uh, yeah, each, each, uh, each, um, determination point would do one or the other. Um, but, uh, you know, if you spend two, I guess you can... Um, allocate the effects however you wish. I mean, up, up to your rule, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, and also the uh, the whatever qualities you're tapping have to actually apply to the action. Mm -hmm. Well, I think both of these would. So each one of them will give you a plus two to your damage if you hit, or right, awesome. or a plus two to each. Since you're making two attacks, they the plus twos would not apply. Each attack, I guess, would have a plus two. Okay. I may have overcomplicated that for no reason. All right, anyway, so that is what you rolled. So he's got to roll to beat those. Now, were you... Because I, I got busy flipping through rules. Did you... Are you combining the effort for extra damage or... Yes, sir, for extra damage. Okay. And I'm tapping the, the uh, qualities for extra damage also. Okay. Oh, that's, that's, that's going to leave a mark. Yeah. All right, his coordination is not great either, or his prowess, rather, is not. Well, his prowess is higher than his coordination, so there's at least that. So the 11 hits, and the 14 hits. Boom. Yeah, yeah, that's that's bad. All right, and you do, what, 8 damage now? Just, that's after, the you know, just your strength. Yeah, sir. So 8, 9, 10 for the... Uh, adding damage or uh, multiple attacks to increase damage plus the first determination point that's got it up to 12 and then the next one gets it up to like a 14 yes sir I will have to look into that later on to make sure that's how that works all 
All right, so he's got, all right, 14 minus his damage reduction. Still has him taking double digits damage there. And his health was only barely in the double digits to begin with, so. He makes his big speed, he makes his big attack. You know, drops a hero, hurts everybody. Makes his big speech, and then gets pummeled. Oops. Oh! I was clicking on the wrong guy. Oh, I didn't even get to slap him. Now I'm upset. Oh, he's, he's just down, down. He took 14 damage. He's got like a damage reduction. Without that shield up, he's got a damage reduction of like three or so. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a lot. That's... that's... That's a massive amount of damages. Recluse looks over the little girl, looks at him, and just growls, basically, and leaps at him. Or says whatever. Did you have... What was it you said Recluse did? It was just mindless rage. Just screaming. And then, yeah, he, look, he leaps at him at one of them little jumping spiders. And if you ever seen One Piece where Luffy does the thing where his arms are just kind of blurry, that's kind of what I'm envisioning him doing, just beating this guy into the ground. So he lays there, busted nose, busted lip. Uh... And he looks up at you just before he finally blacks out from this. He mumbles... But I'm a go and passes out. I'll tend to Ray try to administer first aid. Okay, give me an intelligence check. So he doesn't die, dude. Unit unit will also walk up to Independence Ray. Wake up, boy, we ain't done, and slap him with six points of healing. <laughs> <laughs> Be healed. Reclus is going to go over to the little girl, gently pick her up, and say, uh, hey, uh, unit, can I uh, yeah, yeah, go get yeah, some yeah. assistance over here? You know, go ahead and pop the people to go provide healing touches to everyone, because okay. that mind blast kind of sucked. Yeah, it did. Uh... So yeah, everybody gets healed up some. Uh, the little girl is stabilized. Uh, you're not sure how she was doing what she was doing. Uh, when you heal her, she kind of rouses up. And then she looks kind of terrified to be surrounded by all of you. She looks over at the king... Hey, 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 kid, don't don't worry. Everything's fine. We're not gonna hurt you. And all honestly, honestly, he's the one who hurt you in the first place. We're the ones who patched you. She, she points <laughs> over at you and says, shot me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, so he may have shot you. We didn't know you were a small child. He made he's us do really it. Bad about that. And novice stands there. He told me to. <laughs> Regulus punches novice. Not not hard, just like novice is now dead. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the little girl just kind of sitting there. Whoa! What was that? Ah, it was freaky. Okay, that one was. That little girl made a thing. very loud noise. How did that little girl make that noise? <laughs> That's <been disturbed>. magic. <laughs> Actually, I don't think she's mad. But anyway, that that was that was the part of the cliffhanger ending. Oh, it is about four, so we need, need to go ahead and wrap this up, I guess. To make a long story relatively short, uh, the troops to the of of the rightful king of this city, as word quickly spreads, because he had contacts inside the palace, that immediately, as soon as the. Imperius Rex drops 
went out screaming it. Uh, you know, his his personal troops very quickly retake the palace. Uh, they haul the Imperius Rex off somewhere. You don't know what his intentions are. You probably don't ask. So you're gonna sell tickets to the execution? <laughs> I don't come. Yes, that's exactly what he's going to do. He's like, generally, I would, you know, trials are, are a thing I tend to, you know, approve of. But the Imperius Rex is is, is simply too powerful. Uh, if you were going, you know, if your team was going to stay here indefinitely, it might be viable. <clears throat> but I imagine you're going to want to take out that the uh, the world tree, several several this our world's connection to yours. Do we know about the real? Does our does this group know about the world tree? Uh, um, I think so. We yes. we know of we, it. We, yes. we learned a little bit about it. I don't know if we knew as much as somebody the on the team had a cult, and I think the because this king is a wizard himself. All the kings in this world are wizards. Mm. He was just not on par with the Imperius Rex. Uh, but I think y'all identified that it was a world tree and that it was that it was what was tying... Because, you know, all the portals that they were using to get to Earth had that kind of root growth around the outside. Uh, so he quickly goes about telling you uh, how to... A ritual that will essentially poison the tree. Though he makes note that the tree was beginning to lose leaves already. He doesn't know what's going on with that. That was something I believe happened while the Supernatural team was doing its business. Poison the world tree seems a little drastic, doesn't it? Wouldn't that destabilize uh, reality fabric or something? Well, this tree was grown from a clipping from your world tree. He said, it's, it is not the one native in this world. It should shut down those portals. Though once that starts happening, you will want to leave very quickly. Because I don't know how long the portals will stay open after that point. Mm. So, you help with the ritual, uh, really just by your presence, being from the world that this clipping came from, yada, yada, yada. Uh, he and his few remaining sorcerers, or scholars as he refers to them, actually commit the ritual. Uh, let's see, other little details. Uh, speaking of the little girl, she doesn't know how she does what she does. It seems to just be an ability she was born with. You know, being able to mask things. Uh... While some magic spells can detect her by detecting her life or whatever, they do not. They do not. The the typical sense magic kind of spells do not detect her abilities, which made her very useful to the king. Uh, while the while the Imperious Rex was probably the most powerful sorcerer on the planet, a lot of the way he seems to have dominated was tricks like. The crystals augmenting his power. Basically, they fed into his throne, and while he sat on the throne, he had access to a lot of extra oomph. Uh, using the girl to hide certain effects so people couldn't, even people knowledgeable of magic, couldn't figure out exactly what he was doing. You know, he was powerful, but he was also clever at how he used things. When it came to dealing with you, he was clearly just way overconfident. Uh... And, you know, ritual's gone down. Y'all are quickly heading towards uh, the portal you came through. As you're zipping through town, flying, leaping, swinging, whatever it is you're doing, I think most of you have a, have a uh, travel power other than maybe toss-up. And unison, so two of you are having to be carried. You start seeing the troops that had gone through the portal, they start to rematerialize. Uh, some of them are obviously beat up and shot up. Some of them are dead. 
uh, some are restrained, some are, you know, walking around fine and just seem to be confused as to why they're suddenly home. That wasn't an effect the king told you would happen. He had been of the, he had been of the opinion that the armies that had gone through would still be there, but you know they'd be cut off from supplies, so your world could handle it. So you don't know what's going on there. As you approach the portal, it's getting smaller, though the one you came through was you know one of the larger ones, so you managed to get back through without any trouble. Uh, you reappear in Washington D.C. Uh, not that it matters, but we'll go ahead and jump you over to the map. There's a map we haven't seen in a just while. Just to change the view. Uh, let's see. Y'all had, had pretty much taken out the armies that had attacked D.C. before you left. Uh, almost as soon as you arrive, the Primus, the Primus lands next to you. Uh, his suit's a little, He looks fine. His suit looks a little scuffed up. He's like, you must have done it, my... My big playmate outside of town just sort of vanished. He well, I mean, we might suck at our jobs, but sometimes we get results. He gives you a grudging nod. Good job. Could have been a little quicker, maybe, but good job. Uh, reporters quickly, you know, quickly form up around you, uh... Basically, the it's all the journalists that would normally be at the White House. You know, were essentially huddled in the White House while all this went down. But when they see, when they start getting reports of the army's fate, and they see you return because the uh, ellipse, which is where the portal was, is, is right close to the White House, they run out and start interviewing you. You know, they're asking you what happened, where you went, what was on the other side, what, you know, they want to know everything. Uh, once you're back on Earth, you hear Agent... Crap, what was the agent's name again? Uh, Tolliver? Yes. You hear Agent Tolliver over your earpieces. Uh, don't... T basically, don't tell them anything until we have a chance to debrief, uh... I mean, in very vague details, you know, yeah, bad guys on the other side, you took them out, you know, you'll get a, you know, they'll get a full interview later, y'all do the talk show circuit, you know, y'all talk to everybody. Once, uh, we, once we have, once the government has approved of exactly how much information gets out. Yeah, uh, to Tolliver, you know, we we disposed of, any, of, a, of the king that was planning to take over and replace the previous king who was of peace, are we able to say that? Uh, yes, that should be fine. That that kind of that's that's vague enough. We can work with that. Right, that's vague enough where I can give it out to them, and then t say we have to go to debrief. All right, got okay. it. Uh, and now unit can handle the press, <laughs> and you do. In the following days, uh, Spears' popularity is through the roof. It was already kind of high, but this is the first time. Well, y'all have taken down villains. You have protected countries. This is the first worldwide kind of threat, you know, potential apocalypse kind of thing averted since the government started up its own team. There had been some naysayers that didn't like the idea of the government having sponsored people. They were afraid it would start a superpowered arms race. Uh, and while not all of those critics have changed their mind... They can read the feel of the country enough that they're not they're not as talkative about it right now. Uh, you get pretty much sole credit for what happened because nobody knows about the Mystic Team. Uh, the popularity of heroes Heck, overall. You don't know about the Mystic Team. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, the popularity of heroes overall has really gone up. There's there's a lot of support, both for the register, you know, the government sponsored heroes as well as the independents. Uh, teams like the, the miscellaneous heroes, you know, Muckboot, Landshark, Whippet, all of those. You know, you had numerous places around the country where just the local heroes or whoever was passing through formed ad hoc teams 
you know, and defended civilians, protected, you know, buildings. Uh, though they were not destroying architecture and monuments and stuff, one thing you would have picked up from the other king is, yeah, they have, in the apocalypse having that other world, they basically lost their skills at sculpting and never really got it back. The Imperius Rex was very interested in learning basically the artistic stuff, you know, the artistic styles that we had. So he got to write, you know, monuments to himself or whatever. <laughs> but, uh, but like I said, you had a lot of those ad hoc teams and, you know, places like New York that doesn't have any established teams running around. It had lots of independent heroes that always operate there. You know, other countries where heroes were not as popular, they've gotten a boost. You know, thanks to your quick action on this invasion, despite the fact that it took, you know, months for us to actually play through it all, your quick action on this invasion has really helped, I don't want to say the hero industry, but heroes worldwide, as far as public perception. Uh, the Chinese officially unveil, in the next few days, the Chinese officially unveil their team, who performed quite well. Uh, the UN... Crap, what, what did I say that European team was called? Ooh, let's go back for a minute. Yeah, that was way back in the first one. So they weren't the official team. They were kind of working at becoming the official team. But they were defending Brussels when it was attacked. But, uh... Anyway, but it, it, it's looking a lot more like the European Union is going to adopt them as an official team. So, you know, indirectly, you have helped Heroes the World over, and Spear in particular, that's going to give you some credibility and more, uh, just goodwill in general. As some teams not affiliated with governments were a little leery about, you know, dealing too much with you since, you know, you're, you're basically G-Men. Let's see, in the debriefing, they want you to, the official report edits out any, any, anything about a world tree, uh... Basically, it just goes with magical kings from another dimension, you know. Do we mention the reliquary by name? As how they found our dimension is one of our own went there. No. no. The government does not want you to mention the reliquary. All right. And then they give you information they have on the reliquary. Uh... The reliquary, he's American, I, can't, I, I think he actually mentioned being from Savannah, Georgia, and he spoke with a, a particularly thick accent. But he sided, it turns out he sided with the Axis during the Second World War. Uh, he was basically Hitler's, like, personal occult expert. Uh, never officially joined any political parties over there or anything, but uh, was the arch nemesis to a he, a hero named the Crucible. Uh, a hero with a long record, but not a whole lot of, of solid information on him. Uh, and disappeared towards the end of the war, you know, the Crucible was never really in contact with the U.S. government, so nobody ever got told what had happened to him. The fact that he's popped up and seems to be young is... Well, there's enough talk of Nazis in American politics these days, they don't want to bring up a real one. Alright, but, uh... So we were wrap here with, you know, the Heroes of Spear kind of riding high. Uh... Next time, what heroes do you want to use? I still have to make my half, half my heroes. <laughs> so do, do you want to go back and, you know, uh, do something with a supernatural team? Do you want to use some heroes we haven't used yet? Um, I'm okay with, like, um, just working to, you know, get all my heroes up. 
I could do any of our existing here. I think I would. I'd be happy with another spear thing or you know the supernatural thing. I think of of the characters I haven't deployed yet. I I think Serpent Boy would be fun. Uh, I don't know what what group would for he would uh, he would be likely to do. Um, pair up with although Frost Giant would be a natural teammate, but um, that'll be the if if I if we're if I were to explore a new character, that would be the one I'd want to explore mm-hmm. next. But I'd also be happy doing either the 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 spear team or the supernatural team. All right, Curtis, do you have any preference to what we do next? Um, if I had my choice, I would say probably the most fun to explore or play uh, would either be. Lance, we didn't actually form a team of the the other guys, like the street team, but I would say either Land Shark or the Brujo would be fun to play. Okay. Uh, what about Zach and Anna? Honestly, I'd like to play around with the uh, Frost Giant too. <laughs> what about? You? Oh, you're the Frost Giant person. All right. I would just. That again, yeah, I would yeah. like to play with one of my new characters. Okay, Tyler. Uh, I'd probably want to make a run with either Mushfoot or one of the new, one of the unused characters. Okay, so it sounds like next session will be a, a, another random assortment of heroes. Uh, just in the Discord, when you decide for sure what hero you want to run, go ahead and drop the name in. Uh, so I kind of know who to plan around and who's the villains to look at. Uh, I will organize the villain data I've been sent by everybody or by some of you, and let you and and anybody that hasn't filled one out, you know, I'll let you know if I need that guy. Hello. Hi. Doing good. How are you? Uh, all right. Not especially. Not really. What's up, Mike? So, Something funny? <laughs> oh, nothing. I just feel telepathic all of a sudden. All right. I think that was the right one I needed. Anyway. Uh, so, yeah. Drop who you want to play in the Discord. Uh, if one of you is responsible for making somebody's villain that hasn't yet, I'll let you know. Yeah, I know, I know I've got a... I, I'm, I owe Frost Giant a... Uh, a villain, and um, it'll, it'll be a villain that'll tie in for, with Serpent Boy, too, so, so I'll definitely get that character ready. Yeah, and I may not use, you know, everybody involved sure. when I have a hero, pop, I may not have one of their villains pop up. But uh, I will try to use at least one or two of the villain a location, some of the bystanders, you know. This will really be when we... This is really be the Wait. first one where we're really using the character, the universe creation stuff, like it was intended. Uh, while I like the idea of the big event crossover, logistically, I don't think it worked the way I did it. Particularly, I think it felt a little stretched, or I don't know. I, have to have to I think a lot of everything. it was all of us trying to get used to new characters and new power sets. Mm-hmm. And some of it is a storyline that's going to take that long and you're doing it every other week really makes it feel like it's taking... You know, the individual sessions I was enjoying, but it just felt like it took forever to get over the story. Yeah. We had a, we had a couple uh, un- uh, unavoidable cancellations, too. Yeah, so that, I, yeah. I feel like... Yeah, I feel like a lot of the drawn-out feeling was just... Um, I, don't, I think a lot of it wasn't due to anything you did wrong. Uh, I think it was just um, the vagaries of... You know of, of scheduling um but i will say it overall i, I like the the way just the general concept of, of exploring one big mega event through yeah that that really wasn't a problem for me okay well you know if it didn't bother any of y'all I, I was really just worried that i might have that the pacing might not be be, be, be as enjoyable as y'all's it might have gone a little bit long but you were we, we were cycling through three groups yeah, and next time it may just be a couple of groups, or we may wind up with like your groups mixing, 
where one session is, you know, part of Spear and part of the Supernaturals, if, if it's something that draws them both in. I really like that idea. You know. <laughs> but for the next little bit, the next several sessions are going to be either one-shots or two-parters, just depending on you know, how it works out. Oh, cool. Uh, I'm actually just... Get everybody played. I'm actually looking at my calendar now. I, I won't be able to make the next session, so don't worry about um, about Serpent Boy or oh. any way of the characters appearing. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and sign off here. Uh, mm -hmm. Anybody that comes by and watches this later, I hope you enjoyed it. This is technically the first storyline getting finished. What, six or seven sessions in? Anyway. But anyway, we're all having fun, so that's what matters. So I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for the game. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone.